What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm going inside of a rummage cell. Got some sales to go to, got this rummage cell to go to, so I'm inside now. And I saw something on Facebook, they had some pictures up for this sale and there's something I saw I wanted to get to before anybody else. So I'm trying to get to the spot where I saw it in the picture. Of course I'm trying to dodge these people. And I come over here and I just pass it over here. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. It is a plug and play, brand new there, you can see, and I don't see it where it was. It was right by these board games on the other side, the right-hand side, and I'm assuming someone grabbed it, so I, I, I do grab this Axes and Allies and Goosebumps game, and I, I stand there for a while, and I'm looking around. I don't see it. Unbelievable, right? Uh, something I know exists, and I still miss it. I end up walking past that thing over there probably two or three, four times, uh, you'll see in this video, um, <laughs> and I, I just didn't see it. And the reason I wanted it because I sell on Amazon, and yeah, I can sell it for about $200 or more new. I've sold them before new. So we're still looking, though. There's still some stuff to be found here, and there was so many people. I was about the 15th person in line, and I would say there's probably about 50 people in line. So this starts to fill up. I can't get through people in the way. Uh, you just know how it is, right? At Rummage Sales, if you've ever been there, uh, most of them get pretty crowded. I see some gloves, and I'm, I'm standing right beside that plug and play. It's a, it's a meme now, right? Wick, Wick just doesn't see it or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I want to get over to electronics though. Try to find uh, the good stuff before anyone else. I wasted enough time over here looking for the plug and play that was right in front of me. Um, it is the pictures of what threw me off. I think just because I was I was looking in the spot I remember in the photos. So I come over here, we've got a couple of resellers there already, just looking up stuff, buying stuff. And I see this Sony DVD VCR combo unit, priced a little high for a rummage sale. I guess not too bad, but it didn't have the remote. And I'm like, oh, do I need to buy this? And I, I see down here a bunch of these RC uh, airplane remotes, and I'm like, oh, these are pretty good quality. So I just grabbed that box, and I uh, wanted to get in the bag. Because, like I said, there's there was probably seven or eight resellers here looking up stuff on their phone. Uh, I see these camera bags. Uh, I want to make sure there's nothing good in there. And the guy behind me asked me about that Sony thing. If I was buying it, I said, no, go ahead. So I just I just let them have it. And I uh, come over here. Now I'm trying to get through. I see some interesting things. I see some PlayStation 2 games here I want to check out. PlayStation 2 games, yeah, they don't find a lot of good PlayStation 2 games out there. But... I did recently actually going to be coming up with a video absolutely in crazy PS2 score. But I ended up picking a couple games I didn't have in my collection out. And I just left the rest. But I see these speakers here. And I'm <laughs> trying to get stuff out of my way. Trying to get people to move uh, Bose speakers back here. And I'm like, oh, these are some good speakers. 20 bucks. I think I'll take them. And there was a few more there. And I was planning on grabbing them all. And I'm just like, well, yeah, these are good. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get them. Um, and I'm not putting these in my bag, obviously. So I, I turn around at the table. I asked if I can sit them at the table. And they said, yes, go ahead and uh, grab them. And there, <laughs> there I am grabbing them. So, yeah, put them over here. Those are worth quite a bit of money. I uh, got the other two guys behind me, I and me. And you know what? The guy there with the other Bose speakers, he grabbed the other two. And I, I even mentioned that I think think those speakers go with my set and he said something like uh oh these are outdoor speakers i don't think yours are so he grabbed those and uh it is what it is i don't, I don't know a uh, kind of a jerk move i guess um he saw me buying the other ones however i went back over there later and there was two white bose speakers i don't even know where they came from i don't recall seeing them there i ended up buying those that was a great deal so you know i'm looking at the media here hoping to see something like the Pink Floyd stuff I got recently at a rummage sale that was worth a few hundred bucks. I didn't see anything good in the CDs though, and I did see it, people carrying a lot of things that I would have bought though. <laughs> people just get to them before you. That's just the way it is. You can't let yourself get bothered over that kind of stuff because it is what it is. People's going to be out there looking just like you. So just grab what you can. Hopefully you don't see something too heartbreaking like you know a box filled with a hundred Super Nintendo games or something like that. It would probably be very bad for me to see. It would be hard to sleep after that. But I'm just trying to see if there's anything else I missed at this rummage sale. And I was here last year. I remember got getting one of those um, uh, it's Japanese brand. I can't even think of it now. 
like a rice cooker type thing. I think this one was actually a water heater of some sort. I ended up selling that for about $100. It was brand new. So, yeah, I remember also this sale being crowded. It's very hot. It's like close to 100, about 95, 96. So not very pleasant to be around all these people. <laughs> uh, it was pretty air conditioned though, you know. And even there was some pogs there, but they were like nothing special on them. Kind of interesting to see pogs. I'm just digging in these toys, uh, trying to find something. Um, you know, just loose toys or something like that. But there was actually uh, a tornado in this area. Tornado sirens going off when I was leaving and people running red lights. And I'm like, is there actually a tornado here? Sure enough, I guess there was one that touched down. I saw some footage on Facebook later in that area of <laughs> someone recorded. I'm like, well, you know, I got to risk it for the, the rummage sale, I guess. But I got some plush here and looking at the plug and play still over there. <laughs> uh, didn't see it again. Over here, we got one of the home medics massagers. Didn't have all the attachments. Didn't want it. I see this hearing aid dryer thing. Uh, not hearing aid dryer, but just a hearing aid. And it was missing one, so I ended up putting that back. It would have been worth something. But, yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, I didn't get a whole lot there. But still, those Bose speakers are worth quite a bit of money. Did well with the board games. I mean, you can't complain. It's going to be hundreds of dollars in profit. Of course, I'm going to go over everything in the hall part of this video. So now I'm at a, this is the next day, and I'm, I'm hitting a few yard sales around. And I'm looking at this stuff, kind of cool stuff. You saw a gas pump back there. Inside, you got bike helmets, you got some, there's a baseball glove. I like picking these up. It's not a great one at all. It's got writing on it. Uh, I ended up putting that back, actually, because I, I, <laughs> I ran into something else uh, unexpectedly. This was a very cool garage sale. You see tons of Lego stuff here. Prices on this Lego stuff was high, so that's why I'm kind of walking past it. I'm seeing like $80 for a bag. They're just kind of loose Lego, which isn't a terrible, terrible price if you just want them, I guess. Um, I did go back and look through those Lego more. There was nothing special, no like old castle sets or anything like that. But over here, you can see this garage is pretty cool. They're playing Nirvana in here. <laughs> so I have the audio muted. You can't have copyright. But look at all this video game stuff. PlayStation 3, GameCube, two Nintendos, uh, or original PlayStation. Uh, might have even been an Xbox there. But I'm seeing the prices. Uh, $100 a bag. I ended up getting both Nintendo systems. Uh, had to make a deal. <laughs> Not a whole lot of profit there. But I couldn't leave all that stuff sitting there. Still... You know, there's some profit. I'm happy to see the Nintendo stuff and uh, left the PlayStation 3. It wasn't backwards compatible or anything like that. GameCube just had garbage games uh, for being a hundred bucks. Wasn't worth picking up. So I head over to another sale I find and there's all these toys and I like digging through loose toys like this. There can be all kinds of little bolos to look for, make some money. And a lot of these figures though, just beat up, destroyed, missing limbs. So I left a lot of them, but here's this thing, which I, st I can never remember the name of what this is or where it's from. Somebody pointed it out in a video recently. I passed one and pointed out they're kind of worth money. So I ended up grabbing it. All these toys are only a quarter anyway. I got some wrestling figures here, which I ended up picking up. The ones that were, you know, not broken or destroyed. Look like a Pikachu figure. I don't remember if I saw that. But I come across this sale at the off a of country road. I don't even know if it was a sale. So I turn off the camera. I'm like, I don't even know. You know, this is the kind of place you get shot <laughs> if you're recording or doing weird stuff. So I ended up picking up all these guns, though, this metal detector. And uh, I even got a instrument thing here I'm putting in there. And yeah, it ended up being an incredible pick uh, on the side of a country road. You just never know. Take a chance. Check out this haul. I got some really cool stuff here. I even got some guns over here we're going to get to go over. Got some metal detectors. I even got the Nintendo, which I guess is where we'll start. I went to this sale and they had a bunch of video game stuff. I was very excited to see. Of course, that is because I collect it. I'm into it. It's what got me reselling. So every time I see it, I get really pumped up. I saw the prices though, $100, like for the bags. And I was 
opened them, I looked at some of the games, I'm like, oh, these games are not that good. It's not that great of a deal. I checked the PS3, it wasn't the backwards compatible one worth money. The GameCube games were just absolute trash. PlayStation games, no rare ones, and there's only like three PlayStation games in that bag for $100 for original PlayStation. So all that stuff was just priced too high, but the Nintendo itself, I ended up making a deal. I told him I wasn't interested, it was just too much. I tried to buy the game separate. And as I was walking away, um, the girl said, my dad said he'd go lower, so... <laughs> In the end, I ended up getting this stuff for $140, which is a fair price. You know, if I was to resell it all, I'd only make about $60 profit. And honestly, I'll probably resell it. I normally wouldn't buy stuff like this to resell because the profit margins just aren't good for the amount of effort. But since it's Nintendo and it's something I'm more passionate about, I went ahead and bought it. And all the games here, they're games I already have in my collection, I'm pretty sure. So I'll just sell each system. I think the system sell for about $90, complete with two controllers, a light gun, Mario Duck Hunt. I'll throw a few more games in there. Sell them both for about 200 plus shipping, something like that. They've been cleaned and works is what I was told. So you know what? In the end, there's profit here. But I'm just happy to be able to find this stuff. I guess from here, we'll go on to what I found at the rummage sale I went to. I picked up these Bose speakers, $20. These speakers are selling for about 200 bucks. So that's a great pickup. The ones up here I paid $5 for, and it looks like I can sell these for about 100 plus shipping, somewhere around there. So in this stack of speakers, it's some very good profit. Over here we got some games and board games. Here's a Radica Solitaire. Believe it or not, these things sell for $50, $60 on Amazon. Used like this, you know, I've, I've sold them many times before. $2, it has batteries in it, it works. So no risk there, we'll be sending that to Amazon. Just picked up a couple PlayStation 2 games there. Uh, these I don't think I have, so I just decided to pick them up for a dollar in very good condition. The other games weren't that great. But a stack of board games here, which are pretty good. The Stratego game, vintage one from the 80s, I've sold on Amazon in good condition before. Uh, for about 50 bucks is usually what I sell them for. Right now, I think they're going for 35. However, come Christmas time, uh, that will change. And this one's in very good condition for being as old as it is. So I'm comfortable selling it on Amazon. I'm comfortable selling this on Amazon as well. It's a Goosebumps game, $1. I believe I saw this on Amazon for about $60. However, the rank was kind of high. And then you got a Axis and Allies game under there, which sells very well on Amazon too. The box is, has way too much damage for me to sell it on there, so I'll probably sell it on eBay for about 40-ish. But I only paid a dollar for all these games, so it's gonna be profit in the end. You know, I also picked up one of these Coda Pillars. Uh, been about a month ago, somebody pointed out that these sell pretty good on eBay. So when I saw this at the rubbish sale, I'm like, you know what, I'll go ahead and buy it. It doesn't have the little plates that go with it, which, you know, I'd probably be able to sell this for about 30, uh, $35 if it did. But these little links that come apart and stuff, they sell pretty good for like $20. I think this part was selling for like $15. So at $2, I just went ahead and bought it. But for the last rummage sale item, I ended up grabbing all these remotes. I think they go to remote control airplanes, the controllers, and they are, they feel very high end. So when I saw this box, I was like, man, I bet some of these are worth a lot of money. They could be. Didn't look anything up. I just grabbed the box when I went to pay for it. Nothing was priced and uh, I pointed out that one of them was missing an antenna. They weren't in great shape and you know, I wasn't looking to pay a lot for them. And she just said, how about $5 for the whole box? And I'm like, that's great. I'll do it. Looking them up though, not great. <laughs> Uh, I think there was a couple in there that was selling around 30 bucks. Uh, the others look like maybe anywhere from 10 to $20. I might just lot them all together. There's no way for me to test these. Like the battery compartments are clean. They're in good condition, except for the one that is broken there. It even has a styrofoam piece with a note on it saying what's wrong with it. So I'm assuming if they're gonna do that with that one, the rest of these would work. But you know what, this box in the end is still profit. Just jumping all around here, I got some metal detectors. Now, I got this White's metal detector here a few days ago. I just decided to put it in this haul because I wasn't doing any recording when I got this, so it wasn't gonna be in any videos. And since I found this one at the garage sale today, I only paid $5 for that one. I paid $150 for this one. But I'll be able to sell this metal detector here for 400 bucks. And this little thing here, it looked like it was selling for about $50. So I'll probably sell that separate. It's got like an extra battery case. Uh, it's even got the case that everything goes in. I just don't have it on the floor here. It's got some books, some straps, uh, the headphones even. I think these headphones were selling for like $35, $40. Even the charger sells for about $40. So White's is a definitely a good metal detector brand to keep an eye out for. So when I was at the sale, 
Today I saw this one, it was $5. I'm like, well, you know, it's not in the greatest shape. It's kind of dirty, but I just bought it blind. When I looked it up, I was surprised. Yeah, selling for between $75 and $100 working. Has the battery in there. Since I have the charger with that one, I guess I can just test it real quick. But for both of these metal detectors, it's gonna be some good profit when they sell. Back up here on the table, I got this nice Hornets hat. And when I got to this sale, I bought this. There was a couple resellers walking out. I'm like, well, they got there before me. Went up there and well, I found this <laughs> 40 to $50 hat. It is a starter, 100% wool hat. Got some good graphics on it. So happy to pick that up. Another sale, I just happened to drive by. I'm like, whoa, is this a garage sale happening? <laughs> Went inside of their house and they had just a rack of CDs and this was stuck in there for 50 cents. It's actually Wii Sports Resort in here, not Wii Sports, but that's fine. Wii Sports Resort is even better. Loose disc, there's still profit there. So right here, we got this figure. Um, I, can't, I don't remember what it's from. It's a Disney show, right? I've never seen it. So I can't remember the name right off, but somebody pointed this out in a video I walked past at a Goodwill and said they sell pretty well. And you know what? It shocked me because I remember a few years ago, Walmart was clearancing these out. There was an in cap at my Walmart where these things were like $5 brand new marked down from 50 and there was no money to be made at the time. If you looked on eBay, everyone was just trying to offload these things for like 15 bucks. Amazon, it was dirt cheap. So I just ignored them all. I didn't buy them, but now these things new on eBay are selling for around $120, $150. There's probably about $3,000 worth of profit on that in cap I could have had if I bought them and stored them. You just never know with that kind of stuff if it's going to go back up in value. So anytime I see these in the wild, I just ignored them. They're not really huge money and he should have a fish hook he's holding. So mine's not complete, but I did end up paying a quarter for it along with some other action figures. So at that price, I decided to give it a shot. I think it would still sell for about $20 plus shipping. There's smaller versions of him that don't sell as well also. So the sale where I got the metal detector and the guns was a great find. I love finding sales like that because the guys told me all this stuff came out of a barn that wasn't theirs, they, probably a relative's barn that they passed away or whatever. They said they don't know anything about the items, they just want to sell it and get rid of it. So anytime you hear that, and plus it wasn't advertised, just a small sign on a country road you just happen to, you know, find. So you just love to find stuff like this. These... I grabbed, they were a dollar a piece. I've never really heard of them, but I saw the Bandai and some of that stuff can be high end. You know, if someone has this one priced right now, $200 on eBay. The comps though for this, one sold I think for 25. And that's about all I see for comps. Each one of these, they're different. Some people have them priced in the hundreds. I just don't see any like reliable comps for those prices. I do see some, you know, around the 20, 30 dollar range. So I think, at least there's ten dollars profit a piece and then we'll just say forty dollars but you know i may find that some of these are worth pricing higher we'll just have to see and since these figures were only a quarter wrestling figures i just decided to grab them uh hawk hogan this one's pretty old i think from the 80s some of these rubber ones can be good that one's a small one so you know it's not great you got newer ones actually pretty good condition he's even a dragon ball z figure in there you know i just saved this stuff to lot together i just sold a wrestling figure lot which I didn't get much money for, but I still made some profit. There was a ton of toys. Most of them were broken and missing limbs. So of course I just left those. The sale I stopped at where I got the metal detector stuff, they had some guns and I saw that they were vintage BB guns and I never find these. Some of the things that you always hear people ask for at yard sales are video games, watches, records, fishing lures, and BB guns. I <laughs> I see people all the time, they walk up to a sale, they ask for certain things like that, and they just walk away, they don't even look at anything else. At least in this area, this is something that people always buy. In fact, that same day, I saw another reseller carrying one of these that he got to before me at another sale. So I'm happy to find some vintage BB guns. Uh, all these were $10 a piece. Uh, I just decided to grab them all. I fired them before I bought them. They all work. This one has me intrigued though. I cannot find a name on this gun. It is all wooden metal. It is very heavy, very powerful, very well made. So I don't even know how to research this or how to sell it really. I did a search on eBay for wooden vintage air rifles. Some of them were selling close to $300, but they all had brands, you know, Crosman or Daisy, Benjamin, stuff like that. So unfortunately, I really don't know. I guess I'll just do an auction on it, but I, I figure that can go for at least $200. Any air rifle people out there, you let me know. And you got some of these other Crossmen, like the 66 Powermaster, which, uh, you know, some of these are worth like maybe 50 bucks and 
and uh, some of these aren't marked either, like the brand. This one I think is the, or I guess it's this one, is the 2100 Classic, and this is a pretty nice gun. Though. I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be green. It looks like someone custom painted it, which is fine. There's still money here. I was hoping there'd be some better rare ones, but you know, when I add all these up, I would say there's at least $350 profit there since I'm, I'm pretty sure that wooden one's gonna do well. And remember, all my prices are just estimates, especially with stuff like this that I don't sell a lot of. And then finally, back here, I, I saw this and I'm like, you know what, Ludwig, that's a good drumming brand, right? I know they make some drumsticks at least, and I'm, I'm assuming drums, again, and this is something I, I don't have a lot of expertise in, but this there's a xylophone in there. But there it is, it's in good condition, so it's got all the stand and everything, the little snare I think it is in here. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It looks like it's selling for between like $50 and $100 depending on condition. The case is kind of beat up, but it looks like everything in there is clean. But I think I'll be able to make some money on it. I'll give it a shot. There it is everybody, that's the haul for today. I really want to thank you for watching. Should be some good profits here. Before you go, I'm going to ask you, please hit that like button for me. Ring the bell, subscribe, all that stuff helps the video, allows me to keep making these. I really do appreciate it. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok now at flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.